Hi, let's solve one previous question of dynamic programming. This question was asked in GATE CS 2014 set to question number 37. Consider two strings A equals to Q, P, Q, R, R and B equals to P, Q, P, R, Q, R, P. Let X be the length of the longest common subsequence not necessarily contiguous between A and B and let Y be the number of such longest common subsequence yeah. between A and B. Then x plus 10y equals to dash. Let me first write the recurrence relation for cij. Cij is the length of the LCS. So it will be 0 if either i or j equals to 0. Then ci minus 1, j minus 1 plus 1 if xi equals to yj. If xi not equals to yj, then it will be max of cij minus 1, ci minus 1, j. Let me create the table, i is left side, j is at top, we will write x i in left side, y j at top. So x i will be q p q r r and y j is p q p r q r p. If i or j equals to 0, it will be 0. So first row and first column is 0 as here i or j equals to 0. Now compare q with p, is q equals to p? No. So we will write 0 and arrow direction will be upward as we derive this 0 from this top 0. Next compare q with q, it is a match. It will be c i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1. So this 0 plus 1 it will be 1 and arrow will be toward left corner. Next q equals to p, no, from these two maximum is 1, we will write 1 and r will be to our left. Next q with r, it does not match, now compare 1 with 0, 1 is greater, so write 1, r will be to our left. Next q with q, it is a match. So when it will be match, this 0 plus 1, we will write 1 and r will be to our left corner. Next q with r, it does not match, we will write 1 r will be to our left. Next q with p, it does not match. Then from 0 and 1, 1 is maximum. We will write 1, r will be to our left. Next we will do second row. Compare p with p, it is a match. So this 0 plus 1, we will write 1 and r will be to our left corner. Next p with q, it does not match. So we will write 1 and r will be to our off. Next p with p, it is a match. So when it is a match, this 1 plus 1, it will be 2 and r will be toward left corner. Next p with r, it does not match. Now from 1 and 2, 2 is greater, we will write 2 and r will be toward left. Next p with q, it does not match. Now compare 1 and 2, 2 is maximum, so we will write 2, r will be toward left. Next p not equals to r, so we will write 2, r will be toward left. Next p equals to p. So when it match, we'll write this 1 plus 1. So let 2 and R will be toward left corner. Next third row, compare Q with P. It doesn't match. We'll write 1, R will be toward up. Next Q with Q, it's a match. We'll write 2 and R will be toward left corner. 1 plus 1, we got 2. Next Q with P, it doesn't match. We'll write 2, R will be up. Then Q with R. It does not match, we will write 2, R will be up. Next, Q with Q, it is a match. We will write 2 plus 1, it is 3 and R will be toward left corner. Next, Q not equals to R, so we will write 3, R will be toward left. Q not equals to P, we will write 3, R will be toward left. Next, R not equals to P, we will write 1, R will be up. R not equals to Q, we will write 2 and R will be off r not equals to p, we'll write 2, r will be toward up, r equals to r. So we'll write 2 plus 1, we'll write 3 and r will be toward left corner. Next, r not equals to q, so 3, r will be toward up. Then r equals to r, so let we'll this 3 plus 1, so it's 4 and r will be toward left corner. Next, r not equals to p. Now, from this 2, 4 is maximum. We will write 4. r will be towards left. 
r not equals to p so we'll write 1 r will be toward up r not equals to q we'll write 2 r will be toward up r not equals to p we'll write 2 r will be toward up r equals to r so let 2 plus 1 it's 3 and r will be toward left corner next r not equals to q so 3 r will be up r equals to r we will write this 3 plus 1 it's 4 and r will be toward left corner r not equals to p we will write 4 and r will be toward up so last corner value is 4 means lc's length is 4 so this x value will be 4 next we will find how many lc is possible so according to algorithm first we will trace from the last i and j in reverse order so 4 will go up then here 4 will go left then here 4 will go left corner so whenever we find this left arrow means it's a match this r equals to r we'll write r next this 3 and there is a left corner arrow so q is a match next 2 will go left here 2 will go left corner next for 1 will go left corner q is a match we got q p q r we can also find multiple lcs from this table here there is a 1 1 for p we can write p next in 2 there is a left corner arrow that's for q then we can consider this 3 there is a left arrow this 3 is for r then we can consider this 4 there is a left arrow this is for r so we got p q r r we can also consider q then p then r r so q p q r p q r r q p r r is there any other lcs possible just mark the left corner arrow just mark this angle arrow so whenever there is angle arrow means it's a match we got three lcs so y will be three now put the value of x and y here so x is four and y is three so four plus 10 multiplication 3 it's 30 plus 4 34 so answer will be 34 i already discussed how to create lcs table and from that lcs table how can find lcs length and lcs just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you